everybody. Welcome to what is the most anticipated game thus far for 2023, Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Razor Grand. We have been waiting for so long, for so, so long for this game to be released, for this game to come out. And it is finally, finally here. I love the world of Harry Potter. It is one of my favorite worlds of just experiencing and just watching as I've grown up with the movies and the books and everything. Like, I'm just, I am so excited. This game has been in development for many years and has been delayed numerous times. And now I am very excited that it is finally here and we can get things started with this game. So, we're gonna start off here with a little bit of a note that we see here right in front of us. And this note is actually very interesting because I was setting up my accessibility and everything, and I noticed that this note, which states, we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Very interesting. Term begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizor Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle from the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Fascinating, right? So we're starting off in this game as a fifth year student. So if we were a Harry Potter, that was the year of when he did Order of the Phoenix, if we were to go on that path, you wanted to compare, but we're basically at that age. And the professor, there's a Professor Weasley. Interesting. I am very excited to get things go. Oh, customer characterization. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of good choices to start from. Here, yeah, let's start there. And I can play with my face. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, that's perfect. Honestly, that's perfect. Um, I do have freckles on my face, so I do want that represented. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, I, I'm not gonna get any scars. I'm just a student. What would I have done as, you know, a student in this point in time? Honestly, ooh, eye color. I want you to have pretty blue eyes. Oh, they're so dreamy. They're so dreamy. Alright, finalize my character. Alright, let's see. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Oh. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I don't know. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That Wait. was quite something. I'm just exploring. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few no. cobwebs and some dust. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That's it. That's it. That's it. Alright. I have to name my character. I have to name my character. Alrighty. Well. Well, listen, Lardy Lou. Alright. I'm going to name my character as such. We go with... Um, let's see. We got to think of a fun name. All right, I have picked a name, and it's going to be quite a lovely, beautiful name. He is Rodney Wilson. If you're Rodney Wilson out there, oops, I used your name. I don't know who you are, but, you know, fun times. And we're going to play as a wizard. Live life. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for this. Ah. It appears we are almost ready to depart. 
It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. I'm gonna be nice and Ages proper. since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. Oh. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! Uh, how did you- Wait! We did- Well, 
there goes George. Hi, George. to an interesting start. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Ah, teach me the mechanics as we go through the story. Ah, yes. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Oh. This is so beautiful. I'm just... Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my god, like, this is beautiful. Oh my god. That's not what I think it is, is it? How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The porky was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that porky to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I am down, because you got me hooked, baby. Mind oh. your step. Oh, and there's Where quests! Where you your wife got yes. the key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Alright, let's go! I'm just, I'm but eager. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Oh. Uh-huh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Well, that's Let's see rude. some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! I'm very happy right now. <laughs> this is great. This is fantastic. This is, oh, this is exactly, oh, just, yes. It, 
this game is checking off every single box that I want. Oh, yes. So far. So far, so good. All right. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling and killing. Camera related to targeting. Okay, okay, cool. So I can choose my... Got it, got it, got it. That's that perfect. We have enemies. That is a bit rougher than I'd expected. Work. Yeah. Woo! I'm fun. And just expect it to ah see there's always something did I get anything did I not see what got out what I got out of it uh, okay we're just gonna move forward Work. we're close now it's just ahead okay Yourself. It's gorgeous. Repair and we have a bridge. Nicely done. Almost there. Here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Maybe let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Maybe this mural that's right in front of us, Professor. Maybe just a little bit. Alright, the mini map shows your surroundings. Uh -huh. Got it. What do we have here? Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. All right, well, now that we have like a little map, Ooh, what's this? Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. I believe it. Ah, pa! All right, let's go. Over here. Oh. That enchanted crystallized stone again. Oh. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Uh. Someone have conjured that enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wow. If I had to guess, Grim Gods? Maybe? Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, <we're> here. <clears throat> mm. 
Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. I figured. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Slick move. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Yeah, until today. Uh, we get a sorcerer's stone moment? Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Inside. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Just go Let with it. think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. There's Revelio. a glimmer on the wall. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Oh, hold on. 
Study a wand. I, I wasn't reading the directions. Study a wand and guide it along the syllables path to learn the spell. Oh. Nice. That's cool. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Aha! A door. Nice. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Alrighty. Don't mind if I do. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Right. Now, for sure, because I'm intrigued with all of this. I'm intrigued. Also, the glow of my luscious gray hair. Ah! I see something up ahead. Yes, Rodney. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. I see bubbles. <laughs> What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. I see that. I saw that. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, a new spell? Oh! I got Lumos. Let's go. Alrighty. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. 
Where am I supposed to go? I see you. Hold on. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, it's gold. I see. I see it now. Ah, that's where they're leading me. I glow again. Oh. Lumos. Oh wait, no. Nope. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own there this time. There we go. I know what to do though. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, ow! No! No! Oh, it's really armors! No! It's really armors! Oh, Potato! That's the Oh! Oh, Potato! It's really armors! Stupefy! Beautiful. All right, just set enemies with a stupid. Ah, there it is. There's Super Five. All right, who wants to come out? Stupid Five. Oh, I didn't do it. All right, who wants to attack? Stupid Five. Nice. Yes. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! I am such a badass! Yes! Work, bitch! Oh my god! Yes, darling! Stupefying! <laughs> Alright, get ready for what's next. This is... Oh, I am so happy with... You all have no idea how happy this makes me. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is that? What is that? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. I was gonna say memories. the thing that Dumbledore uses when he goes through like watching memories. I wonder. Oh. Is there a memory in there? Follow my lead. Place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. 
I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Oh, Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Are we in the Forbidden Forest? Yes! 
Mama! Yes! Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, this, I am so, I cannot tell you all how incredibly happy I am with playing this right now. Oh, that's exactly how I pictured it to be. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I am, yes. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I already know which house I'm picking, darlings. Because I went actually through the test. Ah, yeah. And everything. It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Um, can't wait to start classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Let's go curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Yes! Yes, that is exactly the house I wanted. Yes, that is me, darlings. I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I accept. I accept. You belong in Ravenclaw! I'm so happy! Oh. 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Oh, come on! I want my Quidditch! Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I mean, I guess, but I want Quidditch. Quite oh. an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. He's an as I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Oh. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. Oh, perfect. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Oh, yes. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. It's so well fitting. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'm just so happy. Oh my God. Oh. This is great. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Yeah, I might. I might do that. Yeah, I want to get ourselves accustomed to Hogwarts, go to classes, do what we need to do, and go from there. We're going to be a student in this episode because we had a little bit of an adventure at the beginning of this episode. And now I want to be a student. Let me live my life. Let me live my dream. This is what I've always waited for. This game. Oh. I am so happy. I am just the happiest person I could ever be right now. Look at my room. It's very nice. It's very... I love the aesthetics. Ravenclaw. Yes. 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 Yes, so I am I am 100% a Ravenclaw through and through. I love, you know, exploring puzzles. I love, you know, being, you know, as I have chosen. I love being very curious with my mind as to go out, explore, find new things that, you know, give me the thrills of everything. So it's just, it's, yes, just, I am a Ravenclaw through and through. This mirror needs to be cleaned. Oh my gosh, look at that reflection. Good lordy, I need to clean this mirror. Good lordy. Alright, let's go out. Nice. Alright, let's go upstairs. I gotta go to my classes. It's gonna be exciting. Oh, I'm a student at Hogwarts. <laughs> this should be interesting. Who said that? Oh, hello. I suppose some introductions are in order. Hello. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a dumb ball. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. 
And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. You seem very low. Oh. It's the ghost of Ravenclaw. Oh my god, who are you? Oh, she can't even be let through. Oh, that's rude. Let her through. She's a ghost. Let her through. There she goes. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Like, she's the ghost of Ravenclaw. You might as well let her through. Like, come on. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. So great. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Oh, did I just eat an apple? Oh, okay. Samantha Dale. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great God. Golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Nice. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Well, thanks, lovely. Just gonna eat another apple because well, that conversation was quite a lot. Ah, that is not how that... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Sure. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class, then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Sweet. Hey there. New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. I know who said that, but thank you. Sounds good. Oh, I love this. I love this dorm. Oh, it's so lovely. I love, yes.
Hello. Revelio. Thought I saw that book move. Alright. Cool. I gotta go downstairs. Alright, let's go, let's go! Oh, it's... Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Hmm. This way. Alright. The I'm guide will give you classes. opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Incredible. Love to see. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and Revelio. see what details the field guide can provide? Ravenclaw bust. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Nice! You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Ah, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Got it. Alright, so I see. This is your wizarding level XP. Earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress, like the challenge menus to continue. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Okay. Ah, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Nice. Rewards must be claimed for the challenges meant you. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Cool. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Oh, Inside the and pictures outside move. of the castle. The pictures move! Ah! That's so exciting. That's exciting. What is the Oh. These are all the spells I'm going to... Oh my god. This is... Oh, I'm so excited. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm just too excited because I just saw how many spells I'm going to learn. It's like... Ugh. Oh? What is this? Huh. Who knows? That's a puzzle for me to figure out, I guess. with that another time. Alright, what is this? Ah, good timing. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hi, you discovered a flu flame. Fast travel point. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house commons in the Great Hall. Very nice. Alrighty. So, back to the Grand Staircase region to continue. Ah, in this video you can see the flu flames available in that region. Ah, gotcha. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Library annex. Okay. Ah, all right, let's go. That is okay. I gotta get used to it, but it's and pretty cool. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. So nice. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Wow. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. All right. Tell me more about charms. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Great. What about defense against the dark arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Very nice. What about Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Keep it hash hash. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Okay. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. 
great. Hi, Professor Fig, what's going on? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Sure, let's do it. Alright, I can track available quests in the map. Okay, this represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story. Unlock new features and grant XP. Beautiful, that is. Alright, some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. That's cool. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Alright, so we've got Defense Against the Dark Arts or Charms class. We got Levioso and Accio. We're doing both these classes in this episode today, so let's start with Charms. And we'll go from there. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes, Lord. Alrighty. Very nice. Oh. This is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This this game is just exactly how I pictured it to be in everything. It's just exactly how I pictured it to be. This is fantastic. All right, complete main quest. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, so. It's pretty, that's just, again, it's pretty cool. I, I, I love how this all is. Reveal your page, oh, I see, okay. Yeah, so like field guides. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is very just very fascinating. Oh, even inventory. Gear. Oh, I got gloves. I don't want gloves. Let's see, do I have a hat that I could wear? No, it hides my beautiful luscious hair. I think I'm perfectly in fine. Perfectly fine with that. Um, yeah, this is, uh, again, this is just assignments, relationships, sides, completed. This is just so, oh, I just love, I love, I love, I love. Alright. I did. Alright, so let us go to class. Alrighty. I love the compass because this is very nice because it helps me know where I need to go and then to go from there. This is perfect. Oh, hi, Professor Fig. How you doing, dude? 
Don't mind me, I'm gonna go to my charms class. I gotta go to charms class first. It's right over there. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to go to charms class. Ooh, Flu Flames location discovered. Nice. Rebellion. Stairs, I believe. Excuse me, I'm gonna be late to class. If I'm not, if I don't hurry. Yep, gotta go this way. Yep, I figured as much. Ooh, another one of those statues. All right, begin quest. I want to attend classes, and then I'm gonna end it here. I want to attend these classes. Teach me. Here, behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Nice. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Fabulous. I love fresh air. Fresh air is quite lovely these times of day. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Simply cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm. Akio, possible that now happens to the best of us. Oh, I see. Okay. 
Gotta time it. Very good. Oh, I did it. Ah, uh, splendid. Stay focused. Well, I got 50 points. That's all that matters. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Love it. Alrighty. Here we go! Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not That's it! I don't know about that. That is how it's done. Oh, really? Is it really? Give me that 50. Yes! Oh, we'll see about that. I have to think about this strategy. Excellent control there. I am the winner! I love competition. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Sure. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Ah, I see. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Here we go. Just saying, love. That is how it's done. Oh, hey, I see we got a challenge on our hands. All right, hold on. I still win. I still win. That's all that matters. Wow! <laughs> GG, 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 GG. Very good, both of you. Well done. GG. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I will say, that was a lot of fun. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. 
My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Pop off. Pop off, girly. Pop off. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Okay, pop But it off. never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Wow. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Wow. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. For sure. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. A Such word, Slytherins. If you would. Such Slytherins. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Fabulous. All righty. Level two, baby. Hello. Love it. How was your first day coming along? Oh, hi, Samantha. It's going quite well, actually. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Mm -hmm. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go into our quest, because this is how we do it. I'm gonna attend defense against the dark arts. This will be the last thing that I will do for this episode, and then we will go from there. So, let's do it. Time to attend class. Where am I going? Gotta go this way. I need to get to my next class. Oh, defense against the dark guards. My goodness. So much to learn. It's crazy. All right. Let's go this way. Gotta go this way. And then over here. Oh, what? Hello. Ah, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Over here. Over past this way. That's always fun. And then I'm gonna go up here. And. Oh, that's lovely. Alrighty. Suddenly, 
got. Yeah. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Alrighty, Levioso. There we go. Nice. Levioso. Work. Now, let's try something a little larger. Okay. Oh! Okay. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Oh. Now, well done. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. That was great. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Such a Slytherin. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Let's speak with Sebastian, who we just defeated in a duel. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. 
I had jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned jeweling organization. Sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Yeah. Till next time for sure. I guess. I guess. Alrighty. Well, let me see. Side quests are now available. Oh, interesting. Uh-huh. Very fascinating. All right, let me go into quests. Cross ones. Wave one. Okay, great. Cross ones round one. I see. Secret dueling club. I think... We'll deal with that next time. But this is... Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Oh god, this is so Yes. <sighs> yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this episode right here. We did a lot in this first episode today, and I could not be more proud of doing all of that in this episode because let me tell you, when they first announced that this game was coming out when they announced that everybody was like oh my god no way no way they're coming out with a new harry potter game no way just no way and then to go about it in the way that they have done it in the progression that they did yeah people were kind of you know upset mad and everything there and there are still people that are, to, it's like, to this day, even with this game is out and everything, that are, like, not happy with, like, the outcome of this game and, like, what has been done. But, you know, things happen, and we have to celebrate what's been achieved at the point in time that it's been achieved. This game, as of right now, like, as soon as I started playing, I was immediately, immediately... Um, brought into the atmosphere of the game with everything that was going on. The introduction was fantastic. And you can really tell that this is open world. This is a open world experience. I cannot wait to further progress through this game to see what else there is going to be in store to go from there and just live our life the life that we've always wanted for those of us who have grown up reading and watching these movies it's just oh, just i'm like i was so happy i was just so happy just tuning in to everything that was just going on it's like my childhood has come alive and it's come true and it's absolutely beautiful and yes i again like i said I am a Ravenclaw, that is who I am, 100%, um, and I stand by that to this day. Um, and you are more than welcome if you want to try to see what the experience of this game is like as you play from a different house. You are more than welcome to go out and to explore other people who are playing this series um, and see like what it's like to be a Gryffindor or a Slytherin or a Hufflepuff to go from there. But I will be experiencing things as a Ravenclaw because look, that is my house, that is who I am that is what I 
reside in, and I'm gonna be going from there. Just, ugh, this just makes me so happy. I am, ugh, just, I'm at a loss of words because this game is just fantastic, and I can't wait to see what else is going to be in store as we progress through this game. It's going to be fantastic. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this first episode for Hogwarts Legacy. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells. You can't really ring those bells unless you are subscribed. So if you really liked what you saw and you really want to see what more that I will bring um, in the near future, feel free to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that you appreciate what I do so that it gives me the motive to do more exciting things like this for you all. Um, and then ring those bells as well so that you will be notified for when I drop the next episode for Hogwarts Legacy. So be sure to do all of that and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. This game, like I stated in the very beginning of this episode, we have waited for so long for this game to come out. We have been waiting and it is finally here. I want to know what your thoughts are about this game. I want to know what you are thinking. What is your house of Hogwarts. Are you a Ravenclaw as well, or are you a different house? Let me know. And we can do some like fun things with that here and there, and just vibe. Because again, this is a celebration of what this world is, and everything that um, comes from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, despite things that you know have been you know conflicted with it. We all know um, and everything from there. It's just, it's fantastic. It's great. And I'm excited for this because if you're a Harry Potter fan, like I am, this is going to be the series of a lifetime. I'm so excited. Well, I've done enough talking. So with that being said, as for right now, this has been Razorbrand. Thank you once again for watching this first episode for my playthrough for what will be Hogwarts Legacy and I shall see you in the next video.